Now, right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Thursday live stream of Minecraft, where we are just going to jump straight in to our stream world on the Kotobos Seed. And uh, my main plan for today, honestly, is, well, building, frankly. I mean, it's it's, it's Minecraft. That's it's a very important and major part of what you do here. So, yeah, I kind of want to fill out a bit more of the area down here. Make start the makings of a tiny, small, little village, and hopefully, maybe in another stream or two, start trying to bring some villagers over here to, well, have an actual populace in our little potential town, which I think will be cool. But let me just check some of my resources here. Did I have anything in the furnaces? Nope, we're good. Anything here that would be useful for today, uh, probably the dirt, honestly, for making sure I have some sort of structure to build around. And other than that, though, yeah, no, everything else seems pretty meh for the time being. All right, well, ooh, actually, you know what, you know what? Let's actually finally get around to building an iron sword here so that we have some better defense. That would be good. And... Let's grab three more for a pickaxe, too. We're probably going to need that today. So, let's pop that there. No, oh, when did I get this five iron? I don't know. I forgot to grab it. <laughs> I was so, so focused on that iron, which obviously we, gr we got last episode, and I just don't remember in the slightest. Well, you go in there. Uh, fish, go there. Perfect. And... Oh, God, don't tell me it's lagging now here, too, on Twitch. <laughs> Why is all my streaming stuff suddenly going to hell? Mo, I'm hoping it's just your issue. Uh, please do try uh, refreshing. That'd be great. If that is the case, then my issue might be a larger problem, which is terrifying, frankly. But okay, let's grab some stuff here. Oop, get... Uh, the beats. Uh, some of these look done. You. You. You and you. Alright. <laughs> Let's grab that. Let's actually expand out our farm a little bit. There they are. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, still needed that. I was very confused for a moment by the baked potatoes. I forgot we already had those in our inventory and was about to comment, wait, did, did the potatoes come out of the ground baked? No, no, I'm just crazy. All right, so let's get uh, these back in the ground here. Plan you, 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 and... Let's grab this. Plant down some more potatoes. Beautiful. And JStorm! Yes, a dock is something we'll need to build eventually. It's not really much of a concern at the moment. What is that floating in the water? That is just cobblestone. Well, I'll take it nonetheless. Perfect. And I think how I want to start doing things today is... By kind of starting to build a bit through here. Because eventually we are going to have things on both sides of the little harbor here. And I kind of want to dig through here to get some cobble. And just in general some other materials. And start making that hole so we can begin to see what it may be like. And plus, yeah, we are just going to need all this cobble for buildings. I may actually start doing a little bit on this map on my own. Because, yeah, doing things like strip mining is something you guys are probably not going to want to watch. So we're going to try and keep that to a minimum here, frankly. Because, yeah, that would probably be boring as hell. But for now, just a little bit of excavating through here. And just to sort of start the process. Oh, and Steampunk Mo, thank you for checking on that. Does seem to have been your connection. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm terrified of my streams now. I mean, we've only been having the problems on YouTube, but with my luck, the problem will spread. Which I still have no idea. What is the issue with YouTube? Hmm. Oh, well, hopefully we'll figure it out at some point. Kind of want to come in 
at an angle on this place now, so I don't want to just chop straight through for the time being. We'll probably fill it out later on and uh, expand it more. It was kind of my idea is to have maybe like the smith and things like that embedded into the mountain here. Because I think that would be pretty cool. And then have like markets and farms on either side. We'll see though, we'll see though once we actually do... I hate when that happens. Everything's back. We'll have to see though once uh, everything does start coming together. And I have no idea how far we really need to go here. I probably should... Pop in some light in here at least a bit. And we're almost done with the stone pickaxe. Okay. Kind of want to just bust a bit through to the side here. But let's keep going on an angle for now. See where it takes us out to. And there goes that. And you. Mm hmm. Oh, God, Mo, you're on Comcast. I, I feel your pain. I used to have to deal with them when I was back in Virginia. I'm so happy I don't have them now. They were awful. Granted, not as bad as when I had BT back in England. That was... That was real bad internet. <laughs> Alright, let's pop that there. I kind of want to... Let's pop our head out this way real quick. Oh. Ow. Ow. Of course. Oh, yeah, it's a bit further down than I th remembered it being. Yeah, I mean, we'll come out eventually here, but, uh... Oh, yeah, let's just keep going at an angle. For now. Again, we can always mess around with it more later. This will definitely bring us out, I think, soon-ish, which will be good. Yeah, everything in this place is going to have to be cleaned up. But what I would like to do over this stream and the next is to sort of get a kind of functioning village going. Not pretty, but functional. We can always make it look good later on by adding in various things. But I just want to get it uh, to a functional state so I don't have to trek way out into the distance to go get stuff from villagers. And plus, it would be nice just to have a small populace here. I mean... Who wants to be all alone on their secluded alpine mountain town here? <laughs> okay. Kind of want to just go straight through now, but no, no, no. We'll, I have the plan of the angle. We'll stick with the plan of the angle. Okay. My luck will bring us out of a completely inopportune place, but meh. Meh. So how are all of you doing in chat today? Hopefully well. And especially since it is a Thursday now, it's almost the weekend. And, ooh, I was actually thinking about this earlier. I didn't realize until this morning that, oh uh, yeah, tomorrow's... Tomorrow's Friday the 13th. I may potentially stream tomorrow night and do a horror game. I, I It's no promise at the moment, but I was thinking about it earlier, and my god, we're through! Yes! But yeah, I was thinking about it earlier, and I thought that might be interesting. I don't know what game I might play, but pretty sure I have the time. I actually don't have any plans for this Friday. All my plans are on the weekend, typically on Saturdays. Alright, it's a bit further out, actually, than I was originally hoping, but, again, we can adjust that later. But yeah, so, uh, uh, later on tonight, I'll probably make the final decision on whether or not I will but, uh, yeah, keep an eye on my Twitter and the YouTube community page. And, of course, the Facebook page, since I've finally been, you know, updating that recently. Uh, and I will put an announcement there that if we will be streaming tomorrow night or not. Yeah, I thought that might be fun with uh, Friday the 13th do a horror stream. There's one thing I actually do want to bring back to the channel, I've been thinking about it for a while, is the Friday Fright videos that I used to do of, you know, playing horror games. And I was thinking about doing that as a stream rather than a normal series because I thought that might be fun. Uh, we'll, we'll see though. We'll kind of gauge it tomorrow if I do end up streaming. And of course, any suggestions would be appreciated if uh, you guys think of a fun game or know of one to play. Preferably something newer. I, I always like kind of focusing on newer things. But am open to really any. Alright, let's 
go upstairs real quick and uh, go to bed. Yep. Yep. Oh, and Mo, did you have the day off today? Nice. Wish I did. <laughs> had a lot to do at work today. Uh, no highlight of the day, like I was saying before. Technically, I started the stream. At least was a, a wonderful day once my air conditioner came in. Oh yeah, new sword, new sword, new sword. Eh, let's break the let's break the stone one. Don't want to keep it around. Hi. Oh god, the world froze a bit there. Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> Oop. 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 Got you. Got him. All right, now let's roll the crap out of here. And oh yay, a skeleton by my home. Awesome. Awesome. I have iron now. I should really make a shield. That would probably be good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Avoid the arrows. Ow. Did not avoid the arrows in the slightest. Okay. Well, let's go to sleep first. <laughs> and let's see. Jay, I would not... Uh, or I would. Not that big on people. If there is a chance of meeting a jerk, I take it as an absolute fact. Wait, what? Did I miss something that someone else was saying earlier? Or have I forgotten the comment that I mentioned earlier? I'm confused as to what that is in reference to. But all right. Now let's drop the beetroots in there. The potatoes for now. Let's drop that as well. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to need that. Let's grab this iron. Oh boy, how do you make a shield? I don't remember. Come on, shield. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Oh, that was in reference to the mountain home and that whole thing, the alone thing. Okay, yes, that makes sense now. That makes complete and total sense. All right. Well, there we go. Let's drop off this iron. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's pop that in there. And the sand. We'll need that for glass later. Everything else seems good. And down we go. Alright. So, whoop, ooh, arrows. Nice. Skeleton must have died over here. And bones. Perfect for bone meal. Excellent. And, okay, so what I'm kind of thinking for our immediate village plans is over here by the stairs, we'll have an inn. And that's where I'll first start bringing over villagers. So yeah, we'll have like an inn here. So let's actually start tearing down these trees and making way. Man, we actually really tore through that iron pickaxe earlier. Hmm. Alright. There we go. Not break the leaves with an axe. Perfect. And considering our location, I'm thinking I'm going to go more alpine style. Once we do make the place look good. For now, again, it's going to be functional beyond anything else, so definitely thinking of sticking with, like, the darker woods, etc. Uh, I think that'll be fun. Alright. Uh, nope. Didn't mean to do my shovel with that, but oh well, it happened. Okay, let's cut this one down, too. And let's see. Ooh, Steampunk Mo, First day off in three weeks? My god, man. That sucks. Well, glad. Well I, well, I hope you've had a good day, and glad you've come to spend at least part of it here on the stream. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I hope I entertain you a bit. Oh, oh god, I gotta get up here a little bit. And I should probably eat something. Hmm. There we go. Boop, boop. And let's get uh, this one. I always forget that the things on the hot bar I don't have to scroll to. I can actually use the keys. Oh, the little things I always forget. <laughs> you know, a standard thing in pretty much every game ever, but for some reason I always think, I should scroll! <laughs> uh. Okay, let's grab this tree. This will actually provide us with a lot of good starter wood to get the inn going. Perfect. All right. Now time to get the shovel out and start leveling this a bit more, because I don't want it quite this high. I'm thinking of bringing it down to one more block down, maybe. And Galactic Survivor, don't worry, we will grab all the trees as they decay. 
Just kind of, kind of let them roll naturally, because we will, of course, start replanting them a bit more up top, like we did do uh, last week, so that we do have a constant stream of the necessary materials. And plus, we'll need some trees for the aesthetic look in our village. Hmm. Oop. Actually missed some wood there. There we go. I kind of like this water up here. I wonder if we could incorporate it somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's bring it down one more level. Does mean we've got some uh, ugh, bits we're going to have to fill in over here. Oh boy, actually quite a lot it seems. But it'll give us more flat ground to work with. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to have a lot to do to get this thing ready for people. And yeah, I'm still wondering exactly how it would be the best way to get the... Oh, there goes that one. All right, let's plop it down. Yeah, I'm still wondering how it would be the best way to get the villagers over to us. That's going to be... That is going to be a, uh, a task and a half right there, frankly. I think our best way may be a good few buckets of water and uh, take the boat and build some sort of a canal over there. I honestly think that'll be the best plan, but I'm not 100% certain. The minecart idea would probably be good too, but that's going to take a lot more iron compared to just a couple of buckets of water. Well, I'm going to need a lot more than a couple. We're going to need quite a lot of water to get that to happen. But still, it'll take a lot less resources to do it that way. Hmm. All right, let's grab that. And J-Storm. I was actually thinking more of uh, maybe incorporate the water down there as like the tavern's well in its, in its cellar. <laughs> I think that might be fun. Because, yeah, this level I'm thinking is going to be the... Uh, the ground level of the tavern. Hmm. Alright. Grab that. Oop! And we fell. We're in here with the cows. Hi, cow. How are you? You're gonna be beef soon. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Oop. Out we go. Okay. Now, how do I want to do this? Let's actually go over here briefly, sort of stand up on a slightly higher elevation. I'm thinking... Hmm. Hmm. Now, as I mentioned previously, my sort of ultimate goal is I kind of want to build, like, a tower, like, there-ish to protect that part of the harbor. Or actually, probably over there and have, like, a wall there defending it all. Oh, new plan. New idea. <laughs> Considering we are on a little harbor here, we are going to have to make a church to the boat gods. That will certainly have to happen. <gasps> on that. That rock outcropping. I was originally thinking of that would also be one of the protective towers for the harbor. But if we definitely do a castle tower there, and then maybe on the other side of the mouth of the harbor, that'll work. And then a temple to the boat gods there. Yes. <laughs> and we'll actually maybe build out, like, more over here. Some houses and things along that uh, those lines. Probably be good. Yeah, but back here for now. Uh, let's... Oh, God, I forgot that cave was down there. Ah, boy. So, yeah, I want the tavern to be sort of close by the stairwell leading up to where my castle will be. Just so, you know, we, we have a place for guests to stay. Not that we'll really have guests, but still, nonetheless, nonetheless. And so I'm kind of thinking if we... Hold on, hold on. If we make that sort of the road going this way... Oh boy, I actually may want to bring more of this down. Oh god. Alright, yeah. This kind of temp road here out of cobble. We've got plenty and can always find more. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to have to bring that down more. Because I do kind of want this to be in line with the staircase. I mean, we could always also just raise up the staircase a bit. In fact, I think I'm going to do that instead. So, if we... Well... 
No, we're just gonna have to bring that down more. I'm gonna need more shovels. <laughs> I kinda like the positioning here of the things. So yeah, it's just gonna take a little bit more shoveling over here. At least let's uh let's actually just shovel out like what I'm thinking plot wise. So let's bring the road a bit more out here. Which our roads will probably end up being cobble. I don't know. I might try some other material later. But, uh, yeah. So, if we do, like, the entrance here. Oh, God. It did that again. Do that. Also, just realized I forgot to eat again. There we go. All right. So, yeah. If we do the entrance there. And sort of, yeah, like, wall. It, oop. Nope. This is definitely not the material we're going to be going with for building, not not the cobble for right now. And if we have that... That, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> the idea being door, window, by door. Is that, this is going to be ground level. I'm just kind of marking things out here a bit now. And so if we do that... Other window... Other window... Another window. How big do I want this thing to be? I mean, it's going to be a tavern. It's going to be an important place for our little society here. Let's make it one more. And then do the turn. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm going to grab these sticks down here. And actually head back up to our castle to get some sleep. Oh, let's grab this. Got to make sure we have those. Yeah, don't want to get attacked by skeletons, etc. Jump! Yeah, and definitely at some point I really need to make these stairs. Oh boy, oh boy. Hop we go! Hop, hop, hop. My llamas are still alive, right? <gasps> I thought I didn't hear them earlier. Why? Where'd my llamas go? No! <laughs> ah, crap! What the? Oh, do you have to keep those special llamas tied up? Oh man, I really like those guys. Oh, that sucks. I guess we're gonna have to actually use that stable for horses later once we actually get one. But oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that is unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, seriously though, guys in chat, is, is that a thing? Do, for those special llamas, do you have to keep them tied up to actually make it work? Oh, I'm so sad about that. Alright, well, down we go. Drown our sorrows in construction. <laughs> okay. Oh, I actually meant to plant some trees up there. Eh, oh well. Let's actually plant some of them down here for the time being, just to get our wood supply up. Just some random placement. And got it. Perfect. Alright. Yes, they were Trader Llamas Mo, but the trader died. He was killed by skeletons a while back, and so I claimed his, uh, his llamas, and we put them in there. Oh, we can't keep them? Oh, that's unfortunate. Darn. I was really, really hoping to. There, let's do that. So if that's the main door, the window, 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 window. Let's do that. So that'll be window, pillar, window, pillar, window, and pillar. All right, so we got to come out a little bit more. Oop. Start taking it down. Oh, that's disappointing that we can't keep those. <laughs> I really like them. They're so cute. They were all awesome looking and whatnot. Oop, got to get some more. Cobble down there. All right, it's so window, 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 window. Okay. Perfect. All right, and boop, boop, boop. Nope. 
Oh, well. Got that. Oh, what the? Oh, the door. I I had a two-door entrance. Oh, I didn't anticipate that. Huh. Well, we're going to need a door to the back garden. This is the door to the back garden now. <laughs> Let's mark it with wood so we remember door. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> ah, so that's just what you got to do. Take your little mistakes and just make them not a mistake. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let's grab all this out now. Okay. And oh, guys, by the way, how is the quality on the stream looking visually? Because I decided to just bring down my uh, general stream settings lower than what I usually do at to hope that maybe next time I stream on YouTube that it uh, doesn't trap itself but is it still looking good to you guys here on Twitch? I hope so I mean I'll be able to see after the fact but uh, thank you Mo, looks good, awesome very true Lord Tank Jr. it is Minecraft but still, but still <laughs> uh. All right. And we can always extend this place out later, which I think we'll need to do. Because now I'm not entirely happy with the size of it, now that I'm inside and looking at it. But, it'll do for now. Again, we just gotta get a slightly functional settlement going, so we can steal some villagers and put them in here. My plan is to just grab two villagers, and then we'll repopulate the area with them. Uh, assuming that works. I've, I've never actually done that before. But we'll see! We'll see! Okay, so... Oh, I forgot. We still need to bring it down one more layer. <laughs> I'm gonna need another shovel. Alright, let's build that. Uh, yeah, definitely will be a multi-floor thing, but I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, this may be too small of a downstairs area. Hmm. Actually, oh, no, I have no idea. I mean, we're still going to build this, but the multi-floor idea just gave me a fun, fun, uh, fun thinking for this. I definitely like the idea of having some sort of, like, a little outdoor area back here, so for this door. Uh, but then maybe also having, like, Actually, no, not have a back door to this place. Use this back wall. Just fill the whole back wall in, at least mostly. Have like a bar area, stairs to the upper level, and then maybe do some like tiered houses back this way, perhaps. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. We'll 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 see as things progress. And JStorm, agreed fall is amazing. I love the tech uh, the technical character set. Traps and watch boom. Nice. Yeah, I keep debating on back and forth on whether or not I want to play it, but my big problem is, and why I'm kind of holding off on playing it on the channel, is uh, that Outer Worlds comes out next month. And if I start Greedfall, that's probably going to be a series that's going to take me a couple of months to finish. And I really want to play Outer Worlds, which is another game that will take me a couple of months to finish. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of what's been holding me off on that. Yeah. Still, though, I don't know. I don't know. I may do something with it. Because it does actually look, the more I look into that game, the more it does look very interesting. And as I've mentioned before, I love the whole steampunk aesthetic and loved games like Terra Arcanorum, where you had... Wait, no, it wasn't... Oh my god, why am I suddenly forgetting name again? But, uh, you know, where you had the mix of magic and tech. And this looks close-ish to that. I mean, you at least got muskets and traps. There doesn't seem to be any, like, proper steampunk technology. But still, mix of, like, flintlock guns and magic and swords is kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know if there's ever going to be anything from that game on this channel, sadly. Just because of timing. With, uh... Yeah, with Outer Worlds coming out next month. I mean, I know it's not till the end of the month, but still. Just the timing on that for me. Oh, I broke that one too. I thought I had another. And Raffo, good evening to you as well. Hopefully you enjoy the stream. Alright, let's just kind of clear this out a bit so I'm not staring at it. 
And... There we go. There we go. Still need to go down one more tier, don't I? Because that's going to be the front door. Front door! Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, okay. I'll worry about that later. We'll worry about putting a wooden floor on this place later. Let's just get the, the general construction of it all sorted. So yeah, let's plow through all these. Got that. Excellent. Yeah, for now, we're just going to build it out of cobble and wooden roof, really. We'll, again, make it all look nice and pretty later on. For the time being, though, functionality is king. So, yeah, when I start getting some villagers over here, this will be their home as we start to breed them. And then as we build up more of the rest of the village, we'll start getting them professions and such. Which should be good. But first, we gotta house them at least temporarily. Yep. Get rid of this, it's annoying me. There we go. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's. Oop. Oh, God, if I could actually jump. There we go. So that'll be the door. I like two tall windows. Got that. Got that. More cobble. We should, I think, have enough cobble to finish all this. Ah! Messed that one up. Oh well. Easy to fix. Let's grab that. 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 Yeah, I'm still torn about how I want to do this back wall. So just right now, two, 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 two. two. Beautiful. All right, got a zet. And this should be good. Our last stack of cobble. Oh, God, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do some strip mine off camera because we're going to need a lot of cobble for this whole place. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. All right, well, down we go. All right, so you enter in, generic tavern, which for the time being, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to collect some sand and actually make glass for this place. Hmm. All right, Leah, let's get some uh, torches up in here. Yep, got it, and got it. Oh yeah, well, I'm there too. I mean, honestly, I actually probably should just have them on all of them, shouldn't I, to make sure we have plenty of light? I got plenty of torches. I always get stuck on the aesthetic of things too much. There we go. There we go. Lovely. That should be plenty of light to keep anything evil out. All right, back up to the castle real quick. Also have a snack on our way. And Lord Tank Jr., nothing breeds villagers better than a shady motel. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the time being. And Raffo, speaking of shady motels, when are you going uh, traveling again? I'm missing Explorer by the Glass. I actually have plans for next month. Uh, I've yeah, been planning a little family thing for a while, so I will be taking a trip which I'm very excited about. Plus, I actually do have a, a trip that I did earlier this year that never made it onto my Explore by the Glass channel because uh, the hard drive I had all the footage on died on me, but I was actually able to get the hard drive fixed recently and get, well, not fixed, I just was able to get the data recovered off of it. And so I'm hoping to put up those and actually finally get around to making that video here soon. Oh, I meant to get glass. Oh, well, we'll do that later. I need a lot more sand, actually, before I can do that anyways. All right. Oh, no, not you, actually. You, we're going to need, for now, all of you, for loads of stairs. 
But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to next month when I do have that trip. Yep. Let's grab all that. We're gonna need more. That may be enough. Maybe. Oh god, I got a lot of dirt in here. Oh, hi, Cal! How are you? Hmm. And a jump, and a jump, and a jump. Perfect. Alright, let us begin this process. Eh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> going to be kind of a big place. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, for right now, just one story. Oh god. Later on, we'll turn it into a two-tiered place. But yeah, for right now, this is just for breeding purposes for our villagers. But eventually it will be a proper tavern with all the accoutrements. But for now, we just need a place to put a lot of beds down and don't don't they need like chests full of food or something? I, I don't know. I've never actually bred villagers before in the game, so this will be an, an entirely new experience for me. And oh god, that used up a fair amount of the stairs that we have. Okay, okay, well, we're gonna have to build more, but I'm also gonna have to do this because, well, got out the sides. Didn't mean, or didn't think to do it over here. Let us grab that. Excellent. And, alright, now to try something. Hey, it did work. You guys mentioned, uh, <sighs> damn. On the last stream, that uh, apparently... Oh, no, not not that. That I did not know that when you build stairs like that, uh, that they will conform to the other stairs around them. It used to be that they'd go all hog wild back in the day when I used to play the game. But now, yay, it matches. That makes life a lot easier. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's grab that. And, oh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. This is completely pointless, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, wrong thing. There we go. All right, more of you. Yeah, we are definitely going to need a whole load of things. So wait, we had 28 just then, so we used 18. So there we go. That should build the second layer. Yeah, we are going to need a lot. <sighs> I keep falling everywhere. <laughs> Oh, the joys of building in Minecraft. Breaking your ankles constantly. Alright, got that. Oop, oop. And that'll be enough for now. Is that all of my... You know, no, I may actually be... No, I'm not going to be able to close the whole thing off, but let's at least do this. And put down the three that we can. <laughs> Oh, yeah, God, I'm going to need a lot of trees. Oh, oh, boy. All right, well, let's go. Yep, there go my ankles again. And Steampunk Mo, carrots for breeding, or carrots and bread. Or no, yeah, carrots for breeding villagers. Okay, well, we actually, oh, wait, no, we have beets, don't we? Ah, crap, yeah, we're all beets and potatoes here. Oh no, I gotta find carrots. I wonder if that, I didn't actually look. The The last village we went to, did that farm have carrots? I, I honestly don't remember. Huh. All right, well, what I do need to go and do, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to head over the hills there so I can go and pilfer a bunch of sand. So we're gonna need a lot of glass. Oop. Yeah, boy. Don't want to take any of the sand from this immediate area because this is all going to be, you know, glorious territory of my people. There we are. Around the corner. Hey, pigs! Nice. Have to remember that if we want some bacon later. And that reminds me, pork chop! There we go. Gotta heal up those ankles after breaking them. All right. Oh, perfect, perfect. Nice big block of sandy beach over here. We got it here that we could take. Yeah, we do, we got some. I don't want to ruin the entire beach, but 
Because, of course, this is still the way in to our glorious village that we'll be building. Don't want to ruin the voyage. Alright. And, oh, what's that over there? J-Storm. I imagine a golden or emerald boat temple. Make it happen. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's going to have to be emerald. I mean... With uh, the Ancestors series, Emerald has certainly become a part of the canon of the spirituality of the boat cult. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have to get a lot of Emeralds. Another reason to get the villagers around. we got to start making all them Emeralds. All right, let's go grab more from over here. Should have taken the boat. Why didn't I take the boat over here to do this? That would have made life a lot easier getting back home. Don't think sometimes. I just don't think. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Oh, also, I wanted to check something. Huh. Oh, I guess that's just showing what we have right now. Show. No, that is just showing all. Hmm. Comments. Can you build a saddle? <laughs> Again, when I used to play this game, you had to find them in dungeons. Did they finally add in a recipe for making them? I actually have not had leather in this character inventory yet, so I we don't have a recipe for that at this moment. Oh god, Lord Tank, there's not? Oh boy. So you still gotta find them, huh? Oh, that was always such a pain. Why? Why would they not add a recipe for that? <laughs> All right, how much do we got? Oh, yeah, that should be plenty for now. Let's roll. Hopefully get home before the night comes. I wonder if any of the villages sell them. That's a possibility, certainly. Howdy -oop. Yeah, really should have taken the boat. Really should have taken the boat. Oh, and Steampunk mode, what do you got there? The American Way. Ooh, look, a beach. It's mine. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> it's what we do, yo. We take what we want. <laughs> I mean, I have conquered this small harbor. It is definitely mine. And we are building and colonizing it, which makes it even more rightfully ours at this point now. Good times. Ooh, hey, some of the sugar cane grew. Let us pop that so we can grow a little bit more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Things are coming together. Slowly but surely, we're getting all the supplies we need for our glorious village. Oop, oop. Alright, let's do... That. Excellent. Yeah, really should have taken the boat. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Steampunk Mo saying... Only, he only ever finds them in dungeons. Oh, great! Great! We're gonna have to go find dungeons. Yay! <laughs> uh, hopefully we find one at some point. We do need to do more spelunking at some point to gather other resources we'll need. Because that is important. I am still so mad about the llamas! I built them a nice home and everything! Ah. Uh, I should have kept them on the leads. I don't know if that would have kept them around, but they were down there tied up to that tree for a while. Maybe if I kept them on the leads, they would have stayed. It saddens me. I'm sad. All right, let's pop you in there. Fish, yay. You, wrong thing. You over here. Here, have more coal. Beautiful. Uh... Let's... Oh, boy. We... Oh boy, we need a lot of things. All right. You. That. I need... There we go. There we go. Let's build this for all of our junk. Honestly, I just need to find some lava and chuck this into it, frankly. Oh. This stuff, though. Pop that in there. Uh, <gasps> wheat seed! All right, I only have one for now. Let's just pop that in there. I really should go destroy some grass to get more of that. Are we all... Yeah, we're pretty much all tundra up here. Not going to find any grass in this location. But it is getting night, so let us sleep once more. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, Lord Tang Jr. He believes that you can find the settles in settlements, but it's rare. Yeah. All right then. All right. Okay, I need to kind of wait for this stuff to this glass to be made. Anything we can do with this stuff for the time being? Not really. Is everything in here is kind of I'm waiting for other things like building up our smithy, etc. Ah, you know what? What the heck? We'll go down and plant that. Let's take this. Let's take that. Let us paint a glass. There we go. Hmm. 32 of them, eh? We actually may only need a little bit more. I think... Maybe this might be enough glass. Nope, page two. There we go. Yeah, that actually should be enough glass. Down we go. And jump. Beautiful. Okay. So first, let's get this one singular piece of wheat into our garden. Gotta start growing more of this. Hey, a lot of wood's been created here. Well, trees that will become wood. Yes. All right, let's do the glass first, then I'll come down and chop those down. Yep. Got to make sure nothing can get in here. There we are. Ow! Oh, well, that's broken glass. Yay, of course. Oh, boy. That's going to happen a lot with me, isn't it? Oh, oh God. And I covered up that window. Excellent. And... Hey! We did it! And then, yeah, that'll be the bar area and stairs going up to the second level when we do eventually make a second level. For now, though, let's plop that. I need a new... Oh, wait, no, I do have an axe. It's almost dead, though, so let's make another. All right, perfect glass there. Let's chop down these trees. We need the wood. There we are. Actually, let's start from the top up here first. Take that. And down we go. Beautiful. Yeah, we are going to need a lot of these trees with what I'm thinking of making this village out to be. As I kind of, I, I actually kind of want to make it look like the uh, the Tundra Village. I really do like the look of of those ones compared to like the old school villages. And yeah, kind of go with a alpine-ish motif to things. I think it would be quite fun. So yeah, we're going to need a lot of this darker wood. Yeah, we're going to have to need a lot of it for roofs, floors, doors, etc. Mm -hmm. And, Mo, sometimes the music reminds you of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Oh my god, it does. I had never thought about that, but it kind of does. Huh. Cool. Oh man, I watched Mr. Rogers in, well, since I was a child. He was a good man, Mr. Rogers. Good man. Alright, let's get this. Take care of this tree. And then with this, I think we should be able to finish off the roof. Again, temporary roof. I'm just going to flatten it out now with after two layers of the... Uh, two layers of stairs angling upward. We'll, we'll make more later to make it a steeper roof. But again, for this... I just want it to all work. Alright, so we need to get back up on the roof. Didn't go enough. Perfect. Alright, let's turn all of this into planks. Beautiful. Yeah, eventually... I'm going to want the roof to be higher and also do like a second level, but over only only over half of it. Then the rest, yeah, the rest will be roof angled upwards. But for now, just a simple roof. 
And we'll start. <sighs> we'll start putting. Oh god, I gotta get back up. I gotta get back up. Need to hold shift. Need to remember to hold shift. Never do. And yeah, actually, with this now, we should be able to try, maybe, to get the villagers in the next episode. I only need to get two. That's all I need to get over here. And so I'm thinking we just kind of build a simple, crappy canal out of buckets of water, which we can always go back and retrieve, and some boats. I don't know how that'll work, but it's a possibility. All right, do we in fact have enough wood? Yeah, I think, yeah, we should. Ooh, we actually may not. This is quite a large opening here. Da, 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 da. So that'd be great if we could get them. Of course, I placed that there. And there we are, fixed. Ooh, this is going to be close. I don't think we're going to do it, though. I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're going to be short, like, just a couple of blocks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We did it. We did it. Exactly enough. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, perfect. That time was intentional, but still kind of really shouldn't be breaking my ankles. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now we still are going to need a crap load more of that wood for the interior for later. Right now, though, it's, it's not a problem. We're just going to place some beds in here, start getting the villagers to breed and then we can begin to create our little village here our own village <laughs> now to populate the prison Ooh, that's actually a, a good point there though um we probably shouldn't let them be able to leave <laughs> i know doors will be here eventually but for their own protection i don't think they should be able to leave yet hmm hmm and J-Storm, a chimney and all will be added eventually. I want to add, like, a little fireplace since this is going to be a tavern. Uh, but again, for right now, this is the <laughs> the interim stages of our uh, new city here. This will be the uh, villager breeding facility, effectively. <laughs> God, what a horrible way to put it. But it's true. It's true. That's what we're going to be doing with this. All right. So what I think I'm going to do off camera... Uh, because, yeah, uh, uh, some of the stuff, I hadn't really thought about it before, but things like, we're gonna need more resources, I'm gonna have to do some strip mining off camera. I may also head over to the village off camera, just to take a look and, uh, see what might be the best way to get them back. I'm thinking the boat idea, because it'll take a lot less resources than carts. But I don't quite know how that's gonna go. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 I understand that, mode. that once they, uh, once they sleep, they stay. I mean, as in, I don't want them leaving here and potentially getting killed by zombies or skeletons yet. I want them in here. <laughs> we'll just have a household full of villagers breeding, creating a population, and then we'll release them unto the world, is my thinking. <laughs> uh, yes, Gorian, the good old baby factory. I mean... It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. Ooh, we hadn't closed up this hole. <laughs> I've now blocked off their water supply. <laughs> okay, for right now, we'll just... Actually, for right now, we'll just leave it open until we get the people in there. Oh, though I also just... Hey, quick question, chat. Can you put a lead on a villager? <laughs> yeah. I ask because even if we do the water method of the... You know, using the boats, we are kind of on an elevated area. That's... Huh. How am I going to get them in there? I don't know. <laughs> we may have to... Oh, boy. I have no idea. I have no idea. Off camera, I'll try and figure all this out so that next episode we can just come in swinging and go raid that village, steal some villagers, and get them... To start breeding. You know, like a normal person does. <laughs> God, I'm awful. Alright, let's actually replant these trees. Then once nightfall comes, we will go to bed. And that will actually be it for this week's stream, I believe. That'll be... That'll work out. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of these freaking trees. Let's build that one there. You here. 
You there. You there. And there. Perfect, perfect. Alright, the sun is setting. We have our quote in quotation marks tavern built. So yeah, next time I'm excited. We'll go raid the village, take what supplies of theirs we can, and all will be well once we steal some people. Yay, kidnapping! Woo! <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna actually have a lot to do off camera. Hmm. Which is gonna be unusual, I don't normally play any games off camera. That was part of the reason I created my YouTube channel in the first place. I wanted to, you know, have time to play games and an excuse for it. <laughs> With my busy work schedule. Oh, but yeah, now, now I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to do that. But that is gonna be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And if you have missed any of the stream, you can catch it on Saturday on YouTube, and if you are watching this on YouTube, why not come back next Thursday to catch it live? But until that time, thank you for watching, folks, and as always, have a good one!